Okay, guys. Ooh, ooh. I think we're ready to go. I'm pretty sure the webcam was in in the traditional Doom place. I need to make just a new scene for this. So I know specifically. Because... Lord knows I got my I got my hooks in now. I'm addicted. Addicted to getting my ass kicked over and over. Okay, yeah, we're good. Hey everybody. How you doing? How you doing? What's up, blonderps? Yeah, I'm doing it. Only in what place? 14? Same, hard same. I'm uh I'm uh, level 75. I got uh I I like the way that they, and uh, for at least I can only speak on behalf of White Mage, um, but uh, the the new like the way that they redid the sort of stupid healing rose is pretty neat. Um, a flate of solace and a flate of misery are pretty cool. Uh, it seems like yeah they're they're trying to give you more to manage than just MP and cast timing. That's kind of cool. Got to do the doom faces. Yeah, I mean. So Doom Slayer is different than Doom Guy, because he's pretty much just all the time in his little helmet. If it were like Doom Marine, he'd be looking around a lot. And just getting his The problem with that is I'd have to like I'd have to give myself a bloody nose like every time I get hit. And then immediately patch it up when I pick up a med pack. Man, Doom rules so hard. I wish I was that high. I've many 75 jobs and eleven. Can't find a consistent group for 14. Meek, uh the the party finder stuff in 14 is really good. I've never found a need to have a consistent group. Maybe if you're endgame raiding a lot, I could see that being a thing. Cause uh I was talking about this in a previous stream, but I had I had real trouble shoot beating some of the EX fights in Realm Reborn by just matching up with randos. Didn't go well. I can tell you that. Anyway, yeah, the <clears throat> plan is to lose a couple of times, a couple of Doom runs, and then uh, pick up GT5 again. Yes. Hey! That is the plan. Oh, and then also made a lovely discovery. Tweeted about it. Important news. They make White Claw Tall Boys. So, your streamer's up on that mango flavor. I'm taking a lot of damage. That uh, could have been it. Come on. Oh, okay. I've noticed that there are some animations you can't interrupt. Like, you... You can't... You can't break them into a uh, glory kill stagger if they're mantling or landing from a jump. They just eat it, and then they, like, they come back up at 1 HP, and you just have to hit them again to kill them. Which is a problem. <laughs> like, uh, it makes me just want to, uh... Oh. What's up, Steph? Nothing, no. I'm just gonna take stuff to the car. I was gonna take a picture of you with the white cloth Oh. If you, if you would like, sure. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's... That's good. To me, white, white claw is the new, like... <laughs> you look so incredibly weird. Excellent. <laughs> it's the new, um... It's the new, like... Boring white dude that thinks he's edgy but really isn't, or is 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 White Claw domain of the of the ladies? I don't know. White Claw dog. Ooh, there it is. White Claw, if you're out there, I'll take a sponsorship. I'm testing out, testing out a new theory. Oh yeah, Alicia. Sorry, you did earlier. I definitely saw it. How's the nightmare going? Omega, it's going pretty well. I'm still just enjoying playing the game. Um, even. Uh, Check out the Sips White Claw once. Oh no, I did. That's from the that Twitter comedian, yeah? I hate to say it that way, but like, it's just the the dude with the sideways visor shouting a bunch of shit. I'm gonna knock all the side windows off that bitch ass Prius. Hey guys, Uber's here. It's so good. Ed Hardy of drinks. Very well said. Feels like it's not like Ed Hardy was a little more like affliction t-shirt kind of dude. It's not kinda kinda like that, right? But did you like Rage 2? I did. I did. What's weird, and I, I've been thinking about this a lot, is why did I like Rage 2, but I didn't like Wolfenstein Youngblood? I mean, I've been turning that around in my head a lot. Um, I think, I just think the shooting mechanics are a little more dialed in in Rage 2. And I think it had a better, more unified sense of humor about it, more, uh, like, vision? 
to expect a tight narrative from Wolf? I don't... I, I mean, I did. I Yeah, that's true. I don't mind having my expectations uh, changed. Like, I, I wouldn't mind Youngblood, I don't think, being a co-op shooter or a story light -like co-op shooter. If there were something else to it, like if the co-op shooting was better. Then when I do stream, this made me so happy. Well, Sticky Kitten, I do. And welcome. H2 doesn't have bad co-op. Yeah. Like, I think a lot of games, and, and I, I kind of point a lot at Far Cry about this, is that um, it kind of replaces actual mechanics for just throwing another player in, at you. So it's... Like, the, the mechanics in Far Cry are not good. It's not a, it's not a very particularly well-made shooter. It just gives you uh, the illusion of choice and options. Like, playing on hard isn't good either. Like, it just it's just a numbers thing. Because the enemy AI isn't that interesting, and, like, the, the gun play isn't that interesting. The guns aren't that different. They don't require a whole lot of different tactics. All that stuff. Um, you don't love forced RPG mechanics? That's kind of what it is, right? And it's not even RPG mechanics. Like, that's, that's just a code for bars that fill up now. So... And since it's all open world, there's no way they can make it meaningful because they have no idea what you're going to pick and when. So it's just, a, it's just a big open world that you gradually destroy the, like, player curve of by getting overpowered. And that's... that's never been fun for me. I don't know. Being overpowered in a game has never been fun. Uh, I, that's something that I didn't really... like... I didn't really, like, prototype for that reason, and a lot of people did, but I just got in there and I was like, I can kill everything. There's... And all the levels are uninteresting. That's why, actually, um... Infamous had dashes of that, but Second Son dialed it way back, which I really, really appreciated. So yeah, I've just I have been thinking a lot about Youngblood lately. Sometimes you want to challenge, and sometimes you just want to fuck shit up. I yeah, that that makes total sense. I think there's a place for both. I guess ideally a challenge a challenge can also be like the same game can be either depending on how you want it, but that, that is asking a lot. I understand that's asking a lot. Only, only. Doom 2016 can do that. That was an explosive barrel. When explosive barrels start flying around, it really makes me nervous. I still haven't... I haven't bought that upgrade. Also, I don't know what that sound is behind me. And it's really... it's really scaring me. Okay. I really wish that guy would jump down. Baroni, thank you for the cheer. See? It did the thing. I should have I should've waited until he stood up, and then I would have gotten a little health out of him. Instead of using two shells, could have just been one. Um, also, C-Strat? Uh, Thank you for the resub. You, yeah, you had to do it to him, and you did. It got done to them. Yeah, the AI in Youngblood is also not good. They don't take cover, really. They just kind of run around. What, what really bums me out about the AI in Youngblood is... They move around so arbitrarily that, and, and yeah, buzzword of the review or whatever, but a blocky man, a blocky armor man will be standing there and I'll be shooting him, and then a little hash mark armor man will just run right in front of him. And I'll be like, did, did they know? Are they like trying to be annoying? Um, Blonderps, thank you for gifting so many subs, good lord. People are gifting subs a lot in my stream lately. I appreciate it, but pretty soon everyone's going to be subbed. When I do my uh, sub-only, actually finishing Doom on Ultra Nightmare run, everybody's going to be able to watch. I won't be able to. It won't be a cool secret. When I become the world's greatest gamer again. What the fuck? Those big fireballs are when it kills. Okay. He's doing it. Stop. God, they're after me. That one was leading me too, which was just terrifying. Ah. Oh boy. I gotta. Fuck. I don't like this. Also, it's it's like hitching up a lot. I, I I might have to change my wallpaper. I swear to God it's my wallpaper doing that. I love my random photos so much, but I think when it cross the images, it actually does impact game performance. Which I thought, um... I thought, I thought Windows 10 had like a whole... Goddamn, uh... Game mode that it would slip into to prevent that stuff from happening, but maybe not. Solid color. There. Don't take away my frames, I need them. But while I'm here, allow me to play out some subhypes. I think there's only one here, although I, I did miss some callouts here. Uh, Ryder, thanks for the resub. Jado Gamer, hey. Is it like John Doe, Jane Doe? 
It's an interesting name. Uh, and Maddie D, thank you for the six month prime Risa, but the real hero. Wait, actually no. None bizarrely kind of split the difference. They're all uh You guys all kinda of dodged the conditions. Alright though, it's time. It's time for the real health pack. Although this is kind of what they look like in game, except they're blue. Anyway, it was like five grapefruits, and you know I'm not about that, and one mango, so here we go. Notice that too from my computer? Yeah, it's it's a bummer. Um I used to have, uh, like, back in Windows 7, no, it was 8. No, I think it was Vista. It was Vista. Vista had, like, an application you could install that would just make a video loop in your, in, in your, uh, as your wallpaper. And it was awesome. Like, you could just have, like, a cyber tunnel flying at you the whole time. But that's also, like, exactly when, um, Dinkleberry, poor guy. That's exactly when Crisis came out, and I needed all of my precious cycles for that. Vista was the future. It bums me, like... It's interesting to see these cycles happen in tech, where people get really pissed off at something for not really a good reason. Hey, it's me. Or maybe not quite understanding all of the good things that are going on with that thing. Blah blah blah, Epic Game Store, but Vista did a lot to really unfuck a lot of things that had been fucked about Windows for a very long time. I guess the problem was that, it, like, they were- a lot of them were in, in the background. People only started, uh, seeing the, like, the benefits of that years later. So all the things that changed about Vista, people hated. Which I guess- I guess is valid. It's valid, but... It- it really did fix a lot. Uh, security-wise, programming-wise, um, architecturally. There was a lot that was too old and busted. You and Lana got me so hyped for Cyberpunk. I already tracked down the 2020 books. Nice! Yeah, I need to- <laughs> I need to. F are there any like actual books? And I maybe that's what you're referring to. I assume you're talking about the player, the player guides or DM guides. But uh, I call it Lacroix. Lacroix. Yeah, I mean you can do that yourself. Uh, it, it works. Sent my friend the Outer Worlds preview, and he said your head is a weird shape. It is a weird shape, Reagan. That's fine. Um, somebody asked if I was gonna. Um, there's a book Cyberpunk 2077 is based on. No, it's it's a a pen and paper uh, setting. So, Cyberpunk 2070... I mean, like, Dungeons & Dragons has lore. It's got a world that you can you can run a game in. Or you can just take the rules and make your own thing. Um, yeah, Locke. I am in, I'm doomed now. It's for sure. Uh, but yeah, somebody's asking if I was going to stream it. I absolutely will be. I'm probably going to be playing that game quite a bit. Um, but yeah, I wonder if there are any, like, in-lore shitty, like, Novels and stuff that I could read. Pa paperbacks. Actual novels? Fuck yeah. Oh boy. Are they written by anyone decent? I mean, I also just need to read, like, Snow Crash and some other... I need to read the classics. I did read a lot of Philip K. Dick, but I, I like, ar just randomly picked some of the really heady shit later in his life that was not a fun read. Oh my god. What little, like, the kind of book where I had to reread the same sentence, like, four or five times to try and figure out what it's going through. Alright, I gotta concentrate for just a little bit. But yeah, when he was- when dude was all fried out on acid and just writing whatever came to his fucking weird hallucinate- hallucinogenic addled brain. Weird phase. Oh! My god, that was so stupid! Damn it. I, uh... That was really dumb of me. I don't know why I did that. I'm getting distracted. I, uh... I could kind of tell as soon as I, like... Hit the right click and, and my grenade wasn't uh, recharged. <sighs> yeah, Spook. It's a, it's a real controver real controversial view to have. Hello, Zivin. Or 14 Van. Either one. Scave Boy, thanks for the cheer. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that Cyberpunk is the kind of game where people can compare notes about quests and people can be like, Alright, I didn't even... Like, I didn't even think about that. Or I didn't even think to do that. That's my favorite thing. It's not like, I didn't know that could happen. It's more like, I didn't think I could do that. If it's like, oh, I just did this. Like, when this happened, I went and talked to this character, and then this dialogue option was there, and then I hired them to do this thing, and then it... Like, then I went down this other path, and somebody's like, oh! Like, that's the that's the best. To me, a narrative, a narrative game, or any narrative-based game, succeeds the best when you think about something that should logically make sense within the confines of the narrative, that, like, characters are doing this, or a character would want to know about this thing. And then, without being prompted by the game, you go talk to that character, and that is acknowledged. Like, that's... That's... 
there's dialogue about it or like some new gameplay path you can take because you went there when you did or took that action outside of the game's explicit uh, explicit uh, instruction. God damn it. I think I can recover from this, but I'm getting I'm distracting myself again. I mean, too social. <laughs> Gotta focus on the murdering when it's time to murder. Gamers don't talk. Well said, Andrew. <sighs> Was the last game to have such open-ended quests like that? Um, I'll follow it too. Did it a fair amount. Um, Divinity Original Sin has stuff like that. I think that also applies to stuff like Breath of the Wild. Where you come up to a dungeon and there's enemies inside of it. To me, whether it's explicit or implicit, whether there's a diamond floating above something and a big glowing path telling you to go there, when you come up to a dungeon full of, like, moblins, and you have swords, then the, then the obvious path is run in and stab them all. But Breath of the Wild to me is more like, well, let's look at the, let's look at the surrounding, let's look at the terrain, let's look at what, what my tools are. There's some metal boxes, that's interesting. There's like a hill I can roll things down, okay. And then from there, you can concoct, concoct your own plan, set it into motion, and see what the outcome is. Like, the game doesn't guarantee that what you think will happen will happen, but it lets you experiment, and sometimes it works. Sometimes it sets off a whole other chain of events that feels so uniquely yours. Um, that stuff's always really cool. Older Hitmans? Yes, Hitman absolutely does stuff like that. To be fair, that is most of the game with Hitman. So it's unlike something like Cyberpunk, where they have to wor worry about shooting mechanics and um, dialogue trees and gear and equipment and stats and all this stuff, like, Hitman is kind of just a narrative sandbox. With you, like, rattling around like a psychopathic pinball. Yeah, Mass 3, no, no, no. Mass Effect 3 did the opposite, which is what makes it extra, extra, extra not great. It, uh, it told you there would be, like, Mass 3 is when you, it's, uh, when the quest markers say go to A, B, or C, and all of these things will happen depending on which one you go to, and, like, all of those hallways end back at the one thing. So it's like, it's the illusion of that. It's the opposite of the existence of that. In my most generous, I say it was a fascinating experiment in, tr in like, trying to see how efficient you could induce that kind of feeling. And it worked on some people. So that counts for something. I'm, yeah, I don't know. Th to me, like... Instead of everything, everything about, like, why people are mad about Mass 3, to me, games like Mass 3 and almost like Dead Space 3 I'm not quite as offended by, but... Mass 3 is, like, kind of the opposite of what the game started being. Which is, you know... Player choice and the acknowledgement and reward of it. Mass 3 was like the... Everyone gets the same prize. A lot of, uh, a lot of participation trophies. Doesn't look like Doom to you? At least, last time I played was in 93? That's interesting. It looks very much like Doom to me. But I also love this game, so I'm not gonna- You're not gonna get me to say a whole lot negative about it. I don't know, I think it's got, like- I mean, it's- Ah! It's gonna look a lot like Doom in a second, I'll tell you that. Okay, it's not like Doom, because you can jump. I gotta learn all those little tricks. Like, I didn't... So there are times when when somebody's like, uh... When there's an enemy who's staggered on a corner, you can't mantle, because you'd mantle up into them. Um, but I guess you can just hit melee and you'll, you'll zap into a, uh... A glory kill? So that's good to know. Scave boy. Thank you for the cheer. Vertical aiming? Yeah, not in my doom. In my doom, I shoot at the wall and the bullet's nowhere to go. 
Although, man, you want to talk about, like, top ten legendary game design decisions. Having, like, having the illusion of verticality and the illusion of, like, vertical aim in Doom. It's one of the top tens, man. Anybody else, I think anybody else would have said, oh, it can't go, can't do up and down? Okay, let's figure out how to make a, a bunch of really amazing 2D mazes. Which I guess is what Wolfenstein 3D was, but... They were like, no, we can figure it out. Fuck it, we can get close enough. I'm out too far. Alright, use my grenade. Oh boy, I'm being real, real cheeky here. I gotta get out of here. Oh! Okay. Let them let them come out, get a little closer to me. There we go. Off his catch of the day. Grenade's still not reloaded. Okay. Also realize another benefit to glory kills is that they let your uh, equipment recharge. Any amount of time, you can be invincible <laughs> during combat is great. I've also found it's like it's a great time to sort of plan out your next move. It's kind of like the line clear timing in Tetris. That, like, little split second lets you, like, okay, next piece, where can it go, what am I doing, what's in hold? Like, gives you just enough time to start to, to plot out what you're gonna do. Alright, no dying. Imper no imping! Ugh, just fell into pieces. Ah, sorry. I've got... I got a new mouse too, which I really like. But sometimes my pinky will like slip down and sort of wedge like a doorstop in between the mouse and the side of the... Or the mouse and the, the mouse pad. I gotta keep a light touch. A dancer's touch. Whoop. I haven't run off the edge there yet, but it really seems like I would have. Done with this map, yeah? Okay. I just gotta murder everybody. Ain't that the way. <laughs> Hot Tech Doom is a puzzle game? It is. To the degree that, like... I mean... Doom is a puzzle game in the way that all well-designed games are puzzle games. They just operate at different speeds. You just have to find the right combinations of buttons to hit at the right time. But I, I think I see your meaning, though. Like, um... The way that you fill, the way that you fill uh, arenas with enemies and pickups means that you have a lot of interesting decisions to make, and theoretically, only a few of those you can only make a few incorrect decisions before you lose the game. Is I, is kind of the the way that I interpret that. So the puzzle is making the right decisions, like at those critical juncture points, deciding which way to go, how to solve the puzzle. Making valuated decisions, like there's this much health over here versus this much ammo. One of the things that really excites me about Eternal is the fact that they added mechanics for health, armor, and ammo to like uh, extract those from dead enemies. I hope it's not too much. I think I'll get used to it, but because Doom has like health and ammo, but the flamethrower is like another cooldown. It's another resource to be managed. out. Well, okay. I'm surprised. I was freaking out because they surrounded me, but it's because I was staying in one place. I keep for keep forgetting the value of moving. The AI is actually pretty good about squishing your ass. <laughs> Get <a> little do. <gasps> Old doom guy butt. Doom Slayer has got to have a crazy butt. You see, he's sprinting around all day. We're carrying all those guns, jumping, and have crazy, crazy booty. Can't wait till esports are part of the Olympics. Yeah, I mean, to me, that's. I know that it's different when it's 
when it's like person versus person, the, the nature of competition changes drastically. But to me, games done quick are basically the video game Olympics. And that's why I love them so much. And and for it to be like so, um... Oh, what's the word? Welcome to the UAC. Philanthropic. There we go. Tekken Evo. Tekken Finals was at Evo. Ah, Tekken Finals at Evo was awesome. I'm not a big fan of, fan of Tekken. Um, but yeah, I saw that they were on earlier. Have they done Smash Finals yet? I actually really want to watch. We got Evo on a second monitor. Uh, no, because they were doing Tekken. But I did not. I tried to look up the schedule, and I guess there isn't one. It's just kind of whenever you get around to it. Smash is next. Ugh. Okay. Damn. Hello, I am Vega, the sentient intelligence assigned to Mars. After running diagnostics on the Praetor suit, it appears that I can activate optional challenges that, when completed, will assist in upgrading your arsenal at an accelerated pace. I have added a tracking component to your dossier. Does like gaming culture at its best? Yeah. There are a lot of people who kind of grouse at some of the na uh... Oh, the links that GDQ has gone to, I think, to to make sure it stays that way. There was effort taken to make sure that that is the case. I guess is what it is. But it's still worth celebrating. I completely agree. How did they get the two around that guy? I mean, whatever. I'll take it. Okay, one pistol shot destroys an explosive barrel. Good to know. That's much more accurate than a shotgun. I can just swap. Someone on a porn vid where a guy had no balls once. There's still beauty in this world. Was that like a focal point of the video? When that dude smell that chair? Yeah. There was a pretty big call I post about that. I should have, I meant to reply to that. Just being like, I get it. Especially now. But. And what will be your final you need, you need at least a little bit of skin to, to go outside sometimes. And it looks like he just straight up huffed that chair, dude. So. Can't deny that. True. My sisters and brothers. I get the terror that like, you might do something dumb and then get, everyone might laugh at you for a little bit. There's no, I guess, it's too much to guarantee that that won't happen. Like, if you go outside, yeah, you might, you might trip and shit your pants. And you might end up on Reddit. Because you went outside. We all knew. That's what, like, everyone kind of takes that risk. I feel like that's just kind of pouring one out for the chaos of the universe. I, I gotta admit, I have never... I've made a fool of myself in front of a lot of people a lot of times, I'll say that. So I can empathize to that degree, but... You gotta risk shitting yourself for a little sunshine? Yeah. No, second coming, um... I, I think... A lot of people, I don't know to what degree... Never talked to them, but... People are coming out to say, oh, he's picking something up. I remember hearing that, but at some time it's like... Okay. I, I do believe there's there's a reality where somebody is, I guess, employs that technique to pick something off the floor. I'm not saying it's impossible. I don't know. But man, you can't. I feel like you gotta you gotta be a little a little obtuse if you look at that and be like something. Mm. There was. Hmm. That one didn't go down easy, is how I describe it. You're like, hmm, that one fought a little bit. Hmm. No. There's just, hmm. I think objectively that's fair. Any tips for Vega on Ultra Nightmare? Oh, the, what? Is that like a level? <laughs> I like the character. Huh. Yeah, Ninja could have been both. He might have, honestly, my technique 
this is gonna go to a weird spot. If I were to do that, I would drop something and then go to pick it up. So I could say, I was just picking something up. Technically true. That's what I would do. I'm not saying that I have, not saying that I want to. But you know, everyone's like, if I really had to murder somebody, how would I do My that? Sisters and brothers so if I really had to just, just full face, smash into a chair and huff the shit out of that chair, I would, I would like, I would sit there and I'd like use my foot to scoot over like a bottle or something that I have on the ground. Maybe I'd like drop my phone. That's what I would do. That's what I would do. Jesus Christ! The glory kills back to back are so rough! Because they were both like contextual. Threw that dude into the wall, stomped his head, and then used the same leg to like knee the other's face into oblivion. That was awesome. Yeah, they, um... And the, uh, in the QuakeCon demonstration, uh... I think it was Hugo was talking about how, um... Playing this game makes it feel like you're, uh... Your own action movie director, which makes a lot of sense. No, I don't need that. Okay. Alright. Got a pretty hard fight coming up. Ooh! Lenick though, with the Twitch Prime. That's two months! Which means I'm gonna play you a song. play this song for you and I hope you like it thanks for the thanks for the resub thanks for watching that doesn't appear to be working okay hold on I think I know what I think I know why girl gear gamer girl chair soaked in sweat for one hour four hundred dollars hmm it's more like, that's more of something you should charge admission to. William Mister, thank you for the Prime sub. Quintessential Gamer Karaoke Night. How would that work? Oh, like with the new, with the music thing? Okay, I think this will work. I think I cracked this egg. Please enjoy! There's something that's been bugging us Texans And it's time that we set the record straight Concerning a species of cacti That grows in a whole different state The cactus in question's called Swarrow Is tall with big arms in the air Travel to Texas. I'm sorry, but you won't see them there. No. Hollywood and misinformed artists made the swarrow a Texas icon. But the swarrow only grows in Arizona, where people got them out on their lawn. I love the Sonora. And on it goes. Thank you again. Okay. Now, this this next fight is... It's taken me out a number of times. So... Let me just summon up my laser sh laser focused gaming skill. Get in here. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, no, first it's this hallway with the exploding man. How dare you. Exploding man. Now this. And yeah, now this. Like, it's weird. The pistol is almost hit scan, but not quite. Oh boy. 
someone mad? You can still hit stuff. It's pixel perfect. I mean, it doesn't feel like it sometimes. Also, what pixel? I guess yeah, it's got it's got this nice little ring. That would be interesting if they gave you they gave you they gave you basically the spread at the beginning of the game. Wait, I think I have an upgrade point. Yes, I do. Gosh. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. That's not that button. Oh yeah, what's that? Okay. This actually makes it great. Usually this makes us like one one pump and then a glory kill. Fuck you. Oh. Well, and you basically have your grenade back. Another wave. Won't die here. Don't like you. Oh, look, they're already going different paths. Ooh. Oh my god! Where are you? That was close. That was very close. Oh my god. That is such a terrible range. Especially in a narrow hallway. Oh. Oh. Uh. Near Hero, thank you for subbing via Twitch Prime. Also, I played this game like eight times and I didn't know that you can do this. I think I talked about that before, but yeah. Weird. Still found a way to get up there. Video games. Oh yeah. You clinch yourself? No! I'm full clinch. It kept me alive. Yeah, ninjas. That's the weird thing. Like, I remember a lot of people... I saw in forums and stuff people debating about the glory kills getting old or slowing the game down too much. I feel like it's perfect. Just because, like, you get to choose if they happen or not. Um, and then also it does give you, like, a, a pretty needed break from the, uh, constant motion. Let you at least take- and it gives you a little look around, like it, it does near focus, uh, blur. But you, you can still look around a little bit and be like, oh, I see health. You can, like, identify stuff. It's super, super cool. Oh! Oh! Holy fuck, man! That did not go right at all! The zombie knocked over the barrel and then I got a fireball thrown at me. Everything went wrong. <laughs> There's an imp. There's an imp right there. Ah! That was sick. I hit him, so he like flinched backwards, and then the fireball rolled out of his hand and hit an explosive barrel. Oh, it's like, God, it was getting really choppy there for a second. It's like I know there's a checkpoint here. Okay, not that the checkpoint matters, but what was your reaction to seeing old Doom levels being part of this game? It was awesome. Like, it was kind of multi multi stage, so there were so many angles to it. One of like, oh, this is really really cool. I love that. The other... Oh, that reminds me. Did I not... I didn't even go into the classic Doom... Doom part. I pulled the lever, but I didn't go in, right? Weird. Um... And then, like, realizing that there was one in every level was really cool. And then also realizing that you can see it on the map. Like, it looks like a big-ass rectangle. But yeah, Ultra Nightmare is permadeath. So if I die, that's gonna be it. And then I'm gonna play GTA V. Or... Watch the Smash Evo Finals... These are these are good decisions to make, basically. There's no losing. He's here. Oh, the Gorness? Yeah. Gorness fight's fun. There's no way to get any more guns or upgrades before it either. This is just how it is. Uh, I got a grenade though, so that's something.
Dr. Hayden. Yeah, he's, he's near the end of the level. The game plan intrigues me, so I must follow. Take this gem too, it will contain all you need to survive. Well, thank you, I'm gonna need survival tools heading into this fight. Definitely cleaning these assholes out. I, man, I've actually tried ignoring them or saving them for later in the fight. Like using them as, as, as little health banks to maybe glory kill, but they get in the way. Like I, I bonk into them because I don't know what, where they are. Like you, you can be backtracking and it seems like it's a, a, like a clean hallway, but a zombie wandered there. So, and then you stop moving and then you die. So I've, I read usernames. Yeah. Oh, is that what this is that what this stream is? That is what they turn into sometimes, I guess. I don't I don't usually get that much stuff. Just ch chilling out being doomy. Whoa! Alright, alright. Fuck. Okay, gotta move. Mid-air, man. Fuck! I don't understand. I... When they start charging those fireballs, I don't know what the right answer is. In the past... Um, in the past when they start charging, I just... I go right at them, and then I hit them with a shotgun. They stagger, and then they drop the fireball. That was working for a long time, but now... I guess I'm not close enough? I'm scared to just dodge it, because sometimes they throw it at you, and sometimes they lead you. I've seen it happen both times. So I don't know. Mmm. I don't know. You know, chill at Evo? Cool. Thanks for watching. Playing Doom with a controller? Yeah, I don't want to think about that. <sighs> Scave, thank you for the prime sub. Okay. I think I'm going to move to GTA 5. Tried the new version of Blood. She does vertical aim and works on modern and operating systems. I never played Blood like in the, back in the day. Maybe I should try. Alright, I'm going to. I feel like I can't I can't let this consume me. I do kind of want to play it again, but take it easy. Enjoy the ride. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to switch it up to GTA 5, so I'll see you guys in a minute.